Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Planka on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home lab, terms installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So... Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, Planka. It's a real-time Kanban board uh, for our groups built with React and Redux. And then um, I here's some screenshots of it. And um, fi features, create projects, boards, lists, cards, labels, and tasks. I add card members, markdown support, filter by members and labels, and then customize project backgrounds, a real-time updates, internal not notifications, multiple interface languages, and single sign-on. So, we will be installing this on Bortainer. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over the search and type Planka. And then, now I'm going to go to how to install Planka on Bortainer right here. And then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3.8 of Docker Compose file formats being used. I'm going to set some services. And the first service underneath services is called Big Bear Planka. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Planka. And this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name for the container. And the image is coming off of GitHub because it's the ghcr.io right here. And then uh, the Docker image is here. And then the Docker image tag. Um, the container restart policy is unless stop, so that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And the vo volumes to be ma mounted, Big Bear Planka user avatars is a local volume that's defined down the bottom, and that's on the host side. And then the right side is on the container side, app public user avatars. And then sa same with this one, and same with this one. Um, so... I'm going to set some ports, so 3,000 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container is 1337. Um, do not change the container's port. And now environment variables, so the base URL, and we will need to change this to our portainer's IP address right here. And then the database URL, the secure, uh, secret key, which we will be generating in this video. Uh, and... Uh, You'll set the default admin email, password, name, and username. And then now networks. So Big Bear Plank and Network. I'm going to set this service in that network. And that network is defined down the bottom. And then this service does depend on the Big Bear Plank of Postgres service right here. And the condition is service healthy. Now we're in the Big Bear Plank of Postgres service right underneath the services. And um, so uh, the container name is Big Bear Planka Postgres. And this is so Docker does not have to generate a random name for the container. And then the image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. Postgres is the Docker image. And then the Docker image tag is 14 Alpine. And Alpine is the lighter container. Um, restart on failure. So that means if it fails, it will try to restart. But if it do does anything else, then it will not try to restart. And then volumes. So Big Bear Planka Postgres QL on, on the host side here. And then on the container side is varlib Postgres QL data. Um, so the left side is host. The right side is container. And then now environment variables. So the Postgres DB, the first database that's created inside of this Postgres, Q, uh, this Postgres QL is Planka. And then I'm going to set Postgres host auth method is trust. And this makes it to where you don't have to have a password. And um, so networks, Big Bear Planka network. And then the health check. And then now I'm going to define the network. So Big Bear Planka network. And it's a bridge network. And then I'm going to define the four volumes. So Big Bear Plank at user avatars is a local volume. And then same with these other three. So now I'm going to scroll up 
to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this set up. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my portainer. I'm going to go to local stacks and then add stack up here. I'm going to put a stack name of Planka in. And then um, portainer stacks are just using Docker and Pose underneath. So I'm going to go down here to the web editor. I'm going to paste in what I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. Then once I do that, I'm going to scroll down to deploy the stack. And now what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting it up with Docker and Pose underneath because this is using the Docker engine. Also setting up the volumes and the network. So we got it successfully deployed. If you go back in here, you'll see it's starting. So we'll need to fix that. So now when we're in the stacks, and we're going to go into the stack right here of Planka, we're going to go to the editor, and we're going to scroll down to base URL right here. And I'm going to replace this with my portainer's IP address. And then um, I'm going to scroll down to update the stack. And now it's going to redeploy the container with the new updated uh, environment variable. So if you go down here, you can see that it has been updated. So now we're going to generate the secret key. So I'm going to go into my uh, ter terminal uh, in, in my computer. And I'm going to paste in OpenSSL, RAND, hex, and then 64. I'm going to run it. Then I'm going to copy the generated uh, key, a key right here. And I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this set up. So now I'm going to start on my stacks. And I'm going to go into Planka stack. And then I'm going to go to the editor. I'm going to scroll down to secret key right here. I'm going to replace this with the one that I generated in the last segment. So, so now once you do that, you're going to scroll down to update the stack. And then update. And this is going to re uh, deploy the container with the updated environment variable. So now Stout successfully deployed. So it's starting up. So now I'm going to go over the portainer's UI. So I'm going to go into my um, pl Planka stack right here. And um, you'll see uh, ta tabs up here. So stack and editor. Um, you'll see actions down here. Stop the stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack. Stack duplication, task migration. You can go over the editor now and you can edit the Docker and Pose. This is very handy. And um, you can update the stack and you can repull the image freshly off the registry and then redeploy it with th th this check mark right here. And then just press update. Uh, you can see the containers in the stack and then you can go f uh, further in there and you can see actions for the container. Start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate. Duplicate slash edit. Um, you can go in uh, and see the container status now and how long it's been running, when the created and start time. Uh, you can see logs. This is great for debugging. Inspect, stats, console, attach, access control, the container health, and um, the create image, container details, the image, and then port configuration, the, the, the host port, and then the container port. The, the, the command, the entry point, the environment variables, and then the labels, and then a restart policies. So you can ch I change it here, but I would ch ch change this on the stack. Um, and then you can press update, uh, volumes, and the host volume, and the container, and then the connected network. So now if you wanted to change the restart policy, you go back to stacks and go to editor, and then you can change it um, right here. Yeah, yeah, right here. And then right here, here. So uh, ch change it in the stack editor and then uh, update the stack right here. Um, so if you go back over to here and you go back over the containers, you can go into the Postgres now and same actions, the container status, the container health, create image, create uh, the container details, 
and then restart policy and then volumes connected networks and you can also do the max re retry count um so that's a little bit about the portainers ui so now we'll go to the UI and see if it works. So your portainer's IP address and then the 3000 port, which was on the host. So now you can see the login. So I'm gonna log in with the default credentials. And then I'm going to uh, de demo and then demo, and then I'm gonna uh, click the login. So now we're in. So you can create your first project up here. So testing project. And then create project. So now you can open your first board. Board one. And then you can have a second board. So um, now you can see the members up here, your, your permissions. You can lead the board. Um, you can filter. And then you can search. You can add your first list. So first list. And then uh, second list, third list. So um, now you can create your first card. And you can also move this card along in the process. There we go. Um, you, you can go into the card. You can set a description. You can uh, set your task. Like task one, task two, and then task three. So now you can mark the task off as you go, and then it'll be complete. So um, you can also add an action down here. So now that I added a comment, uh, you can set members, la labels, due date, uh, stopwatch, attachment, subscribe, move, duplicate, delete. Um, you can go over here and you can add user and um, you can see in, uh, no the notifications. You can go up here to see the settings. So your account settings, a phone number, organization, and you can also change the language if it didn't auto detect. You can go over to preferences and you can subscribe to my own card by default. You can uh, see what version you're on here. So that's a little bit about Planka's UI. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Planka working on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.